welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as water quality classification using SVM and SGBoost method which is an IEEE 2022 conference paper so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project this project the authors are predicting the water quality we all know that water is an important ingredient for all the organism in the world but due to the industrial growth and other kind of factors the water is being polluted day by day so this water pollution makes a uh, endangering for the humans and also for the all the organism that is in the globe so to predict the water quality in this paper the authors have classified the the water quality classification wqc based on the water quality index wqi so based on the water quality index here the authors have proposed the uh, prediction of the water quality uh, they have used in this paper they have used the SVM and SGBoost but we are not going to use the same algorithm so we are going to use our proposed model as gradient boosting classifier and the train accuracy that we have achieved is 98 percentage and test accuracy that we have achieved is 94 percentage now let us see the flow of the project so here you can see the flow of the project is like collecting the data the data pre-processing wqi water quality index calculation and then the model is applied and tested and then the final classification is being displayed here the only change is like the algorithm we are going to change that not svm or sgboost instead of that we will be using gradient boosting classifier now let me show you the data set part so here in the data set you can find that parameters like station code location state temperature do do means dissolved oxygen and ph and conductivity and bod bod means biological oxygen demand and here you can see nitrant and fecal coliform and total coliform and here you can see the year and here in this data set you can see there is no any labeled data that is it has been uh, water has been polluted or not like poor or good any classification is not given so only based on the formula given by the author we need to classify we need to fa first find the water quality index and after finding the water quality index we will be classifying that whether it is a good water or a not a good water or it is being polluted or not in such way and here in the data set you can find the data set <coughs> with various states of india like damananda you goa maharashtra kerala pondicherry punjab mehalaya orissa tamil nadu himachal pradesh manipur and this is the complete data set that we are going to train up the system now let us see the execution of the project before execution make sure that you have fulfilled the requirements that is mentioned in the requirements folder as mentioned in the requirements with the exact python version and the libraries of it so first copy the source code location go to your command prompt now go to the source code location type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for few minutes now you can see this url just copy this url go to any of your browser and paste the url And now you can see the home screen or screen of the project with the project title water class quality classification using machine learning let me click the login menu 
and it will be navigated to the login page and this is the login page and kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click this login button and once if the login is successful you can see this login success message and then click ok now it will be navigated to the upload part where you need to upload the data set that is given in the project folder just click this browse button and now you can go to the source code location and where you can find the upload.csv file so just, just select this upload.csv file and then click this upload button so now it will be navigated to the preview part where you can preview the data set that we have uploaded as I have shown you earlier the data set that we have seen in the excel format that is the id station code location state temperature doph conductivity bod nitrogen and fecal coliform total coliform year so this is the data set and you can scroll down till the end of the page and you can see the complete data set is being loaded into the preview part of it now just this click this click to train our test Now after few seconds you can see the training is finished message and click OK. Now it will be navigated to the prediction part of it. And now let us show you with few cases of this water quality prediction by entering the few cases. So as I said you DO is a dissolved oxygen. So let me enter the dissolved oxygen as 6.7 and pH value is 7.5 and conductivity value is 203. BOD that is biological oxygen demand is 1.8965 and ENI that is nitrogen is 0 0.1 fecal, is, fecal coliform is 11 and total total coliform is 27 now let us see the prediction result of this let me click this predict button and now you can see the prediction result is classified as poor and as i intimated the data set does not consist of the label called poor or good so it has been calculated based on the water quality index and accordingly up to the water quality index it has been classified now so now again let me check with other test case by clicking this prediction menu so once after clicking this prediction menu enter the do value of 7.4 ph value 6.8 conductivity 121 bod 1.7 and ni value is 0.4 and fecal coliform is 11633 and total coliform is 18125 and now let us see the prediction result of us and you can see the prediction result is classified as very poor water quality and now let me check with other clays by clicking this prediction menu and now let me enter the do value as 6.7 pH value as pH value as 6.9 and conductivity is 56 and BOD is 0.9 and NI value is 0.2 and fecal coliform is 82 and total coliform is 172 and now let us check the prediction result and the prediction result has been classified as good and final let me show you a final case with this prediction menu and we enter the do as 6.1 ph as 3.1 conductivity as 738 and bod as 5.5 and ni value is 2.73 fecal coliform as 32 and total coliform as 45 and now let us check the prediction result of it by clicking this predict button 
and the final predicted value is excellent so i have shown you a few cases with the poor very poor good and excellent of all the four classification and you can check with other cases also from the test case or from the data set that we have trained up with so now let me show you a final with a random value from the data set that we have trained up with so let me take this uh, Tamil Nadu data let me enter the value as 6.6 .6 DOG and 6.5 pH value 6.5 and uh, conductivity is 136 BOD is 2.5 NI value is 0 0.2 and fecal coliform is 13 and total coliform is 45 and total coliform is 45 now let me check the prediction result of us by clicking this predict button and now you can see the predicted water quality classification is poor and now let me move to the performance analysis part so just click this performance analysis menu so you can see the performance analysis parameters like recall f1 and precision values of it so for the classes that we have predicted excellent good poor and very good the recall and f1 and precision values and you can see the confusion matrix of it and final comes the chart part and kindly note that this is a static chart because we have not used any database in the project so this chart has been depicted from the data set that we have trained up with with the data set values of uh, the, cl the classes that is being predicted with 15 percentage of excellent and 15 percentage of very poor 35 percentage of poor and 35 percentage of good and now let me log out and um, this is all about the project water quality classification using svm and sg boost method and thank you all for watching